going to be a warm golden bronzy summer makeup tutorial I put up a picture of this look on my Instagram last weekend and all of you guys asked for a tutorial and then it's also very similar to the look I'm wearing in my favorite bronzers video that you guys also asked for a tutorial the only difference in this look is that I have winged eyeliner besides that it's pretty much the same this is the iconic summer makeup look for me this is my go-to summer makeup golds warm browns peaches and melon shades I love everything about it and when you get a tan it's really gonna pull the vibrancy of those tones of the gold and all of the warmness that you have on your face anyone can rock it I think this is beautiful for a summer night out but I mean I would rock a smoky eye during the day too so I hope you guys enjoy it as always, I will list all the products that I use down below in the description bar, and I hope you guys like it. If you do, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it, and I love you guys. Let's go ahead and get started with the look. First, I'm going to prep my face with this Josie Marin Rosy Mist. It makes my face feel so good and fresh. And then I'm going to use this lip balm on my lips to moisturize while we do the rest of our makeup. Moving on to the eyes, you always want to start with an eyelid primer. This is going to make sure your shadows don't crease and that they last all day. Another little trick I do is put this on any redness or any big blemishes. It's going to help cover them up and also prime for the concealer and foundation you put on top. So first I'm going to apply Saddle from MAC. This is a very warm leathery brown and this is going to be our transition color. You want to take this from inner to outer corner back and forth in windshield wiper motions. Next, I'm taking Brown Script, one of my favorite eyeshadows from MAC. It's a very brick warm brown shade and I'm applying this right in the crease and then moving it upwards a little bit. For this step, I'm using my Sigma E25 brush, just letting the very ends of the bristles touch the crease. You want to really build up this color so it peeks through because when you look down or when you open your eyes, this is that warmness that's going to peek through your eyeshadow look. Next, I'm taking Espresso from the Lorac Pro Palette and I'm using the Sigma E38 Diffused Crease Brush. You want to concentrate this color on the outer edge of the eye and then work it inwards for that definition and that smoky, warm, summery, smoky eye. I've been loving this brush for the crease. It's a lot smaller than the E40, which is the first brush that I use, and it just gets that crease color so flawless, so airbrushed, and really diffuses the product outwards. Then I'm going to go back with brown script and add some more as we go because like I said, I want this color to really pop through the eye look. Then I'm going to take my blending brush and blend out any harsh lines. Now for the lid, I'm going to start with Amber Lights by MAC, which is a dark gold, and I'm going to put it on the inner and outer part of the lid. And then for the center of the lid, I'm going to use this gorgeous baked eyeshadow by NYX in the shade Lavish. And this is going to go right in the center all the way up to the crease, and this is a little bit lighter of a gold shade. This is just going to give your eye a little bit of dimension. For the brow bone, I'm going to take Nylon by MAC and just pop it right on the high points. Then I went ahead and applied my gel liner, and for lashes, I'm applying Girl You Crize by Velour. I love these. They're so wispy, and if you ain't dancing when you're doing your makeup, what fun are you having? Then for the waterline, I'm going to take this nude pencil right in the very center just to open up the eyes. And then on the outer and inner part of that lower lash line, I'm taking this burgundy eyeliner from Anastasia. It has a little bit of glitter, but it really makes your eyes just shimmer. And I'm not going in the waterline, but I'm going on the lower part of that lash line. Now for the face, I'm taking Laura Mercier's Radiance Primer. I have been loving this. It gives you a glow without making you look oily. 
And then for foundation, I'm using L'Oreal True Match and my Sigma F80. This is my favorite combination of life, especially for summertime. I love this foundation because it's light, it's blendable, but it gives you all the coverage that you would want. And I'm just stippling it all over my face and blending it out. This is the shade W6, which is my tan shade. Then to get around my eyebrows, I'm going to use this small brush by Sigma. It's pretty much a small version of the F80. I love it because I always fill in my eyebrows first. Now for concealer, I'm going to use two. I'm going to take NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard right underneath the eyes because it doesn't crease. And then the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer I mentioned in my haul that was similar on the other parts of my face I want to highlight. And to blend it out, I'm using this foundation brush from Sigma. I've been absolutely loving it for concealer and blending it out. I don't know why I never thought to use this brush for concealer before. It fits under the eyes so easily and blends it out so quick. Then to set that concealer, I'm going to use the banana shade in the Anastasia Contour Kit. For a little bit of contour, I'm going to take the first two shades and mix them. And first, I like to go in the hollows of my cheeks just for that definition, especially because my face is a little bit more round. Then I'm also going to bring it around my nose for some light definition and on my temples and hairline. And I also bring it on the sides of my face as well. It just kind of brings everything together. And then lastly, I'm going to go on my jawline. Another little trick is I take the brush I set my concealer with and any excess powder I just dust under my contour to clean it up. Next I'm taking Cheeky Bronze from MAC with an e.l.f. blush brush. I'm just applying this over that contour for that little warmth and that glow. This skin finish is so beautiful for any skin tone. And then the blush I'm putting over it is Cantaloupe by MAC. I love this. It's so soft, extremely pigmented, and I'm using the Makeup Geek Round Brush. I love this so much. I've been using it for a few months. I mentioned it in my April favorites, and it's so soft and perfect for blush. Then for a highlight, I'm taking Apricot by Bobbi Brown, which is my newest obsession. Like, can you see that? It is so glowy and perfect. I'm also going to take the lightest shade in that shimmer brick and apply it right on the inner parts of my eye. Now I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm going back to Brown Script by MAC and then I'm also going to mix some of that NYX Gold Baked Eyeshadow right in the center after I get done blending it out. Now I'm going to set my face with Motive's No More Shine Spray, my must-have for summer. And then for the lips, I'm going to mute out the color with MAC Slip Erase and apply MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. Figured I would speed this up because I'm kind of slow when I line my lip. Now for my favorite part, which is Kava Kava Lip Tar from OCC. I've been wearing this in a lot of videos and a lot of pictures on Instagram and I can't get enough of it. It's the perfect apricot peach shade for summer. It is so, so gorgeous, and it's a matte finish, so it lasts a really long time. And you can leave it by itself if you want. It has a little bit of a sheen, but you guys know I love gloss. So I'm taking MAC Floor Abundance Lip Gloss right on top. This is also a product I can't put down lately. And then the last step is mascara on the lower lashes. This one is from It Cosmetics. So here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed and you'll try it out and you learn something new. Please use the hashtag Amanda Ensing so I can see it. I love you guys so much and leave all your requests down below. I'll see you in my next video.